Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So here's a few things that I want to start the show off with. Sometimes I talk about career choices, some t- or career advice and relation. Today, I think is going to be all about the relationship stuff because um, this past week or so, everybody's relationships are kind of just going crazy. And it's not new stuff. It's stuff that's been going on that is just reaching a tipping point or just recycling into a cycle again. And um, so I want to just say a few things here. Okay. Um, First of all, if you're in a relationship with somebody who has bad behavior, and I don't give a happy hoo-hoo to the ha-ha if this person is diagnosed with a personality disorder, a mental illness, I, I don't, what difference does that make? It's still bad behavior. So either you're willing to put up with it or you're not. And I just, I want to say this, if you're with someone who does not treat you well, and you know, they don't treat you well, and I don't mean to sound harsh. I don't because I've been in situations where I had hope that the person was going to get better. And oh, if I could just love this person enough. Don't you think every other woman before you thought that? Oh, yeah. It took me a moment to get to that, too. Don't you think everybody has tried to love this person to a better person? (laughs) And chances are several people were trying to love this person to a better person at the same time. (laughs) Oh, it's not funny. It's really tragic, but I laugh instead of cry. (laughs) Okay. Anyway, beyond that, I just want to say, um, if you know, if someone, if they don't behave the way, um, if they don't behave with bad behavior all the time, Let's say somebody has anger issues. If they don't go to work and have anger burst outs, whatever that's called, however we would say that, if they don't just burst out on everybody all the time, then they don't have anger issues. They have a I can take it out on you issue. Yeah, baby, that's what they have. And um, if they have, if, if they've had a bad childhood and we, I don't, I think everybody has had things happen in their childhood that could justify them being a shitty adult. But here's what I'm going to say. A bad childhood, a traumatic childhood, a toxic childhood is not a reason, justification or excuse to treat somebody badly in a relationship. It's a reason to get help, maybe get into some counseling. It's not a reason to ghost people. It's not a reason to cheat on people. It's not a reason to be angry with people. If you are self-aware enough to say, I had a bad childhood, so I behave like this, then you should be self-aware enough to instead say, I had a bad childhood. I'm going to seek help for this. Now, if you are putting up with this, you are not a victim. You're a willing participant. And I'm not judging you because again, been there, done that. But at at what point do we say, you know, I've been on this ride for how long I'm done riding this ride. I'm going to like get out and figure out why I keep riding the dysfunctional ride. Like it's like you see the carny putting the ride together And you realize there's a whole bucket of screws over here and bolts that belong on this ride. And the ride, the ride is put together, but all the screw, all the screws for the ride are loose. (laughs) That's funny, (laughs) but you still get on the ride. (laughs) You just put your own life in your own hands. Like, and we've all done it. We, most of us have been in that situation. So again, this is not a judgment call. This is just saying, Hey, listen, Maybe it's time to look at the fact that if this person's going to get better, it's not going to be while you're with them. And also, and uh, much more importantly, um, 
I can't make this person better. I'm not qualified. I don't have the tools necessary. And it's not my job. I didn't get into this because I wanted to be your therapist, fixer, or healer. I got into this because I wanted a mutually loving, respectful relationship. That's good. Okay. Uh, the second thing is be as healthy. You yourself need to be as healthy as you want your relationship to be. A relationship doesn't make you healthier. So if you want a healthy relationship, work on yourself and make be, be, be in that space where you are as healthy as possible. Um, and uh, the next one I cannot say on this show. I cannot. Maybe another show. It's it's not an it's not the nicest one I can say. Today is not the day for this after the weekend everybody has had. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, here's a little bit about uh, those of you who want to relocate. There are six cities in the U.S. that will pay you to relocate to their city. I did not write them all down, but you can Google this. You can you can put it in a search engine and find it and figure it out. So the first one is West Virginia will pay you uh, $20,000. Now, that's not here's a check for $20,000. It it's like, here's this much towards this. And, and for all of these, there are things you have to look it up. West Virginia, <laughs> Rochester, New York. No, no. There ain't enough money in the world to get me to move to New York. No. <laughs> but New York. New York is some people. So if you want to go to Rochester, New York, $19,000. Southwest Michigan, $15,000. And there are three other places. Actually, there are a lot more than three other places of people that will pay you or states that will pay you, um, states that will pay you to relocate to their area. Um Okay, on another front, if you have any questions at all about anything, what happened over the weekend, how do you think the FBI is doing, any questions about anything, I'm here to answer them today. Any, any area of life, your personal life, public life, anything you want to know about today, I am so happy to answer it. I'm going to be taking callers. Please have, uh, when I call your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from and have an exact question or exact connection available. Your question can be about anything at all. And uh, please take me off of speakerphone. I'm going to go to the very first question. I'm uh, Caller 208208, how are you today? How can I help you? Hey, my name is Alyssa and I'm from Idaho. How are you? I am excellent. I am excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. Awesome. What, how can I help you today? Of course. Uh, well, I had a friend, Nick, and we, it's funny that you talk about relationships, Brenda. This was a friendship. Uh, I spent last weekend with him and we ended up getting into a, a fight and now we're not friends anymore. And I'm just curious if you can tell me kind of what happened, like what his thoughts were. Yeah, you know, I, and I'm going to say it again, and I'm so, I'm so sorry that you went through this. This was a heck of a weekend for a lot of people. Things were just, um, I think, here's, here's what I'm going to say. I think there's a lot of, it's like the Hudson River. Okay, and for those of you who haven't seen the video of the Hudson River, please, for the love of all that's good, put in your URL thingy, Hudson River Boiling. And by the way, just real quick, I'm going to go off topic for a real quick second. Um, the Hudson River is near a nuclear plant, a power plant, and the water of the Hudson River is boiling. And then New York put out those PCA, PSAs. So, hmm, 
not foreign attack us. Okay. Anyway, it's like the it's like the Hudson River. There's something in each and every one of us for for I want to say for quite some time since all of this craziness has begun over the past couple of years, we've been on a heightened state of alert and this underlying level of stress and or fear for a lot of us. And we keep waiting for it to get better and we keep waiting for things to be alleviated, but instead like it's like a pressure plates that they're pushing the, the plates in further. So everybody is coping and managing and then we add in other things um, and we end up in a situation where the le least little thing and the safest person ends up becoming the outlet of your stress and frustration is, is one way that I can put this. And I don't know if this way makes sense, but um, what I'm going to say is everybody's ready to blow. Just everybody's ready to blow. Um, so please, and I say this on shows often, they say pick your battles. I'm going to say just don't even battle right now. Just uh, if you try to be in a situation where battles are non-existent because we don't know what people are going to do or what extreme they will go to if they get upset at this time and point. Now, with this personal situation, this person feels a little bit vindicated and justified, although they also feel badly. I am going to say, possibly I'm hearing six, in six months, the two of you may speak again. Give it the time that's needed. Let things work themselves out um, and, and really assess if this is a good situation for you or not, because um, I feel like this person has other things going on in their life that you're not aware of. Some that you are, but some things that you're not. That for a, a minimum of six months, this person's going to be at have a very low threshold of stress and pressure, is what I'm hearing. Yes, go ahead. Oh, I was just listening to what you were saying. Hmm. I'm so sorry. I thought you started talking. Maybe, maybe those are the voices in my head again. Maybe those are the ghosts in the room. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so, so sorry. Um, no, but what, what I'm going to say is that I think it's probably good to take a, a bit of a break now. It doesn't mean the two of you will never reconnect again. Actually, I feel like you will reconnect again. And I do feel like when you do reconnect, it might be a little bit better. But I am going to say for you and anybody else listening, when you reconnect with someone after an argument, I do believe it's a little bit important to discuss what led up to that argument and kind of clear it out. Don't just act like it never happened because that kind of leaves it open for it to happen again. If that, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... It, I think like resolving it the next time you talk is important. But in any case, <clears throat> I'm hearing in approximately six months, there will be uh, a, a reconnection of the two of you. And at that time and point, it will be a better connection. But please do make sure you have a conversation about kind of what went wrong and make sure it's over the phone first and not via text, but actual talking and only over the phone, not in person. Okay, love? Okay, yeah. And actually what you said makes sense because part of the reason that we got in a fight was he started pushing me away, didn't tell me why. I asked for an explanation, let him know he was hurting and confusing me. And he didn't even care to respond and tell me why. And... Now he's blocked me and everything. So yeah, it, okay. it won't go anywhere until there is a conversation. Good. And you know what I'm going to say? Like if people are funny and there's a lot of, um, I'm going to encourage you to go to my TikTok. I, it's, it still sounds funny for me to say that, but I have a tremendous number of 
healings and or clearings on there for everything from um, like uh, narcissistic behavior, narcissistic abuse to depression to just uh, anything I can think of. I just put it on there. Um, and I'm going to say it's so funny when people how people behave. So if they if they're looking for a certain outcome, they'll try to push you to that outcome. So they don't have to make that choice. It just is so funny to me how people are. But I do recommend when this person comes back, don't just let them in. Make them explain. Because this person kind of, as you know, had this a little bit planned out and is... Um, A little, I don't want to use the word conniving, but the angels do. So who am I to argue with them? This person's probably a little bit conniving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I'm not going to argue. Hey, angels, if you want the angels. See, I have to be careful because when I say things, people, because it's coming out of my mouth, people think it's me. It's like, well, this is coming from angels. So what? who am I to argue with the angels? Um just before you communicate with this, I mean, before you take this person back as a friend, make sure you have a full understanding. And if they're not ready to give you that full picture, that makes sense to you. If it doesn't completely feel right and make sense to you, don't let them back in because it will happen again. Okay, love? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was afraid of that. So thank you. You are so welcome, and thank you so much for calling in, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who's 401. 401, how, how are you? What's your name? Where Hello. are you calling from? Hi there. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. My name is Carrie. I'm calling from Rhode Island. Hi, Carrie. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm glad I found your show. Oh, why, <laughs> thank you. How can I help you today? Well, when I tuned in, you had you you mentioned shortly thereafter, um, <laughs> I just picked up. It was cutting out a little bit. Um, you know, I can tell you things that happened over the weekend. <laughs> I know the last caller just mentioned a fight or, you know, an argument she had with someone. Um, well, my birthday was over the weekend, and it was a little unsettling. I mean, we made the best of it. I'm in a different place personally. But I was just wondering if you had any insight on some of the energies that are going around right now, um, you know, relative to family and whatnot, if you could pick up on. Okay, so are you talking about the energies going around for you personally or universally or? Personally. personally yeah, I was going to yeah, I was gonna just, say, I think. A little bit of discord. I was going to say, I think it's personally. I just want to make sure, like, that's what you meant. Okay, so personally, you know, when I, as I tap into you, and then I feel, so the, I'm going to say the first thing I hear is co copacetic, and then the second thing I hear is dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. So there's this push and pull dynamic with the people in your life where, um, and this isn't everybody, and I'm not naming anybody specifically, okay? But it should make sense to you as I go through this. And again, it's not every single person in your family or every single friend. It's just what I'm picking up is um, there's there's everything's copacetic as long as people feel like they're in control of the situation when they're not, when they feel like they're not in control then there's this dysfunctional thing that comes out. Now, everybody, I'm going to tell you for your personal group, dysfunction looks, a. I mean, I'm sorry, control looks a little bit different for each person. So like this person feels like they're in control right. if they can control the conversation. This person feels like they're in control if they can control the location or the amount of time spent together. So everybody has their own little thing that in their mind, if they can control this, they're comfortable. Um, right. And then there is somebody in your family who just feels like they shouldn't have to be bothered with 
like they shouldn't have to be bothered with getting together or celebrating other people. I feel like this is a male and he kind of is, I don't want to use the word arrogant, but again, who am I to fight with the angels and what they want us? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just feel like there's this person who feels like they have better, uh, not that they have better things to do. Like, like, they just don't want to celebrate other people. They don't want to whatever, however right. that turns out. So when you get all these personalities together and then it's on a weekend when there's just chaos in the air. And when I say chaos in the air, and, what it, happened, I mean, yeah. and it happened to be my birthday. Yes. <laughs> it was just a coincidence. And, <laughs> and, and, like, out and it was my birthday. So it was yeah. like a nightmare. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't just you and your family this weekend. It was just about everybody was having communication misunderstandings. Everybody was like looking for out. It was very, very stressful right. for everybody this past weekend and in situations um, between friends and family and everything. And it is flowing over into this week. If I could give anybody any advice for the week, it's just stay calm, move forward and spend some time alone. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that was, that is what I would say. I'm sorry that your birthday was uh, the way it was, but I'm oh, going to okay. tell you in a week and a half, everything should be a little bit better. So please, by all means, um, yeah allow that and there is yeah that's what i'm just gonna leave that there okay love because i appreciate <laughs> that so much this is like the never ending um story uh i could go on for months <laughs> about what's going on right now and <laughs> and, and and people i know i can feel it for sure yes like it's difficult to get a breath in especially if you're even a little bit empathic it's crazy um, yep. so yes, yes, yes. I was yes. proud of myself and how I handled that. So Good. I was well, glad, you know, that I didn't react and I realized that in a different way, it was just collective, you know, very copious better. Yeah. <laughs> I think you hit the nail on the head. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. And I hope, um, I hope that it gets, uh, better for you as the week goes on. Okay, love. It, it was, yesterday was great. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go directly to 347. 347, how are you today? Great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Tanika, and I'm calling from New York. Hey, Hi. I have like all these East Coast people Hi. calling in today. I love it. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I wanted to talk to you about love life for me. So I have not been in a relationship in a while. The last person I was seeing, it was 2019, and he disappointed me. He seemed like he just wanted a hookup thing, and I had more feelings for him. So I'd kind of cut myself off from everyone. And I've also just gone through some things like life changes, surgery, about to move out of So that's going on. So recently I contacted someone who I was hoping – because he was a gentleman to me, he was really nice to me the brief time that we were seeing each other. And um, he kind of, I felt like he didn't take me seriously. So I kind of stopped talking to him last week and I'm hurt now because of that. So I wanted to see if you could look into me and him or me and love period to see like okay. what you see. His name is Aaron. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm just going to put you on mute for a second, but please don't hang up because I, I, I will unmute you when I'm done saying what I need to say. But I'm just going to, I don't know why they're having me mute you while I say this. But <clears throat> what I'm going to say to you is the first thing I heard when you were talking is don't move backwards, always only move forward. The next thing I want to say is, um, and I know this is very, very controversial, I know some women do not believe in this. If you don't believe in it, then don't listen to me for, for this. Do things your way. But <clears throat> men are the pursuers, and we have to let men pursue us. Um, it actually de demasculates a man if we pursue them. They like it in their ego. They will appreciate that in their ego. But if we are 
pursuing a man or reaching out to them, they are coming from their ego and then they will always have that expectation. And I, I, even as I'm saying this, I'm kind of struggling with it a little bit because in my head, I'm going back and forth, but, but, but here's the case when a man really, really, and I cannot stress this enough. When a man is truly interested in you and wants you, he will come and talk to you. He will want to talk to you about building a future together. He'll talk to you. He'll be more concerned about what you, who you are and what you want in your future than getting you into bed or sexy talk or what you can do to please him. A man, I don't care how he acts in the street, how he has acted with a hundred ever other women, the moment he sees a woman that he truly, truly wants, it will, ch and I don't mean this like, oh, this woman wasn't good enough, but he will change the way he behaves as long as that woman shows up in a way that is not allowing him to continue to behave like he did in the past, okay? So for all of that, what I'm going to say to you is this. Now I'm gonna unmute you and I'm gonna finish the statement rather quickly, which is there's somebody coming in for you in four months. Between now and the four months, I would like you to focus, just make lists of what you need in a relationship what you want in a relationship and how you expect the man to behave and do not settle for anything less. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I really hope this was helpful. Yeah. Thank you. You are so welcome. Now I am also going to say, I know sometimes we have a hope that something from the past will work out and we're expecting to hear something different than what we hear. And I know how much it can hurt to hear that something from the past isn't working out. What I will tell you is that if you can change the perspective of that to, oh, everything I want is about to come in, I just have to get rid of, I have to let go of not get rid of, I just have to let go of what's not working so I can get to what will work. It makes the biggest difference in the world. And you will be amazed at what comes in next. I want to thank everybody so much for um, joining me today. I will be back Monday at noon for 30 minutes. Um, and next Wednesday for a minimum of 30 minutes. And I'll also be back next Wednesday. I love each and every one of you so very, very much. Please have an absolutely amazing rest of the weekend.